In this lesson, we'll discuss how to deal with significant figures and logarithms. Let's say we have the number 17.56, and we want to take the log of this number. So log of 17.56. Notice that this number has four digits, and we'll assume that all four digits are significant. Now when we take the log of 17.56, we end up with this long number, 1.24452 and so on. Now how do we know when to stop? The number of digits that you log dictates the amount of digits after the decimal place. So since this had four digits, we should also have four digits after the decimal place. So 1.2445, that is the last significant figure. Everything after that is insignificant. And since we're also rounding, the number two, given that it's less than five, means that we won't round this number up or down. We'll just leave it as 2445. Therefore, the answer is 1.2445. Interestingly, this number, the number before the decimal is called the characteristic and this part is referred to as the mantissa. And in total it has four significant figures. We do not count the characteristic as a significant figure. So just be cautious of that. Let's say that we took 10 raised to the power of 1.2445, you want to make sure that the output has four significant figures, not five. So we would round it to 17.56, which is what we started with. And there you have it. That is how to deal with significant figures and logarithms.